Hey guys, welcome to Real Talk. Uh, this is Anthony Moreno, and then I have Alex Rodriguez and our guest Autumn Lewis Autumn with Lewis. us. And today we're going to be talking about a few difficult things. Um, first, we'd like to speak on Sunday's tragic mass shooting in Las Vegas at the Country Music Festival. I know. It's a hard topic to talk about, but we kind of wanted to flip it in a way where it's a realistic topic to talk about. Um, we first wanted to talk about uh, policy because it shouldn't be okay for Stephen Paddock to have as many <laughs> as many guns as he did in his hotel room. Um, I know Autumn feels a specific way about it, so I wanted her to speak on it. Well, I just wanted to speak on uh, an observation that I made about a lot of these mass shootings. Um, these mass shootings tend to not refer to the shooters as what they are, and they are terrorists. They killed, I know for this past shooting in Las Vegas, uh, the, the shooter kill, killed about 58 people and injured 500 plus people, but in the media, he is still referred to as the shooter, the lone wolf, um, his name. And I believe that is not what we should be doing. I think we should be referring to these shooters as what they are, which is terrorists. Um, they, they tend to um, glamorize these shooters and then we get the copycats and more shootings happen and that's not what we want. So adding up to what she said, I, I feel like as um, far as like the gun policy, like if you really want to change something in life or in our communities, I feel like you should just get everybody, the government should get rid of everyone's guns. And I'm talking about the cops, the government. I'm like, I understand guns are helpful for things, but you know what I mean? Whatever happened to like throwing rocks and then sticks, you know, like you wouldn't be able to kill that many people in that, that, that short amount of time. And another thing too I feel about it is about like, well, we're putting so much homeland security all around us. Like, I don't let these people come in, these terrorists. We got all the terrorists right at home. Like, so I feel like it's ironic that we as Americans are supposed to protect ourselves by, you know, like, all this political, I'm not even trying to get to the political stuff, but it's just outrageous how, it, like, it's right at home, man. And it's like, how can somebody possess all those uh, guns, you know, machine, machine guns that they have, all the damage that he was doing? Definitely he was doing a military type of style because he was shooting from the roof down. Like so, there was, it was your chances of getting away were pretty odd, and um, that's all like I got to say about that. Uh, TMZ actually made a report or a headline saying that the shooter didn't fit the mass shooter profile, which I find a little funny just because 63% of mass shooters are white males, so that's clearly the profile in America now. Um, I don't know. Did you have anything else you want to know, talk know, about? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but another okay. thing is like. It wasn't this like recorded as the like the worst um, mass, the worst mass shooting, shooting in US US history? history? So what if it's not a mass shooting? What is he like? Somebody that's friendly? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, it's just I mean, it's it's crazy, man. And not to mention the fact that this in the past five years or so, this is this happens to be. Um, I mean, no, oh, you notice that each mass shooting that's happened is referred to as the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. <laughs> and yeah, so that's unfortunate as well. Um, going back to the Pulse nightclub shooting, which was just last year, that was 39 dead. Um, before that was Sandy Hook, which was 20 dead, 20 children dead. And now, obviously, the Las Vegas shooting, which was 59 dead, 500 injured. I just also wanted to talk about White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. She spoke on it on Monday saying, when asked, she said, there's a time and place for a political debate, but now is the time to unite as a country. And I just don't think, uh, obviously you, you, uniting is a great thing, but I think all, every day is the time to talk about uh, a political debate, especially regarding gun control, because nothing has been done since Sandy Hook, or even before then, you know what I mean? So I just think we need policy change for America. There's actually a hashtag going around Twitter policy change for America, and I think it should be getting the widespread news that everything else in the Las Vegas shooting is getting. Um, and I know you actually have a little personal story you wanted to tell us about. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say, like, to, to all the students out there who are struggling, who are going through the exams, who are 
being under pressure for classes, full time job, and all that. I just want to be like, you know, at the end of the road, this this light. And uh, what I mean about that is a positive something is always going to be better than a negative nothing. And I'll give you an example about my life. My mom died when I was two. Dad left me when I was four. And instead of me looking at it like, man, that's going to be my downfall, going to be my self destruct myself because of that, I'm actually going to use that to empower my dreams and feel that what I need to do in order to get where I need to go. And I look at it as like, when I get 50 years old, I don't have to go through that no more. So I already went through that. So like, to out there, I stay positive, man, because that's the only way you're going to make it out. So hopefully the victims of the mass shooting will take Alex's sentiment, or not the victims, but the people involved. Um, but yeah, so I'm Anthony Moreno from Real Talk. This is Alex Rodriguez. And this is our guest. Autumn Lewis. Thank you so much for being here.